haven't vlogged in a while, but today I am in Boston. So I haven't updated you guys, but over two weeks ago, I moved to Boston to do an internship for the summer. So I've been living here alone, um, basically for the past two and a half weeks. I have two other amazing roommates that I didn't know before, but now we're really good friends. Today is Monday, but it is the Juneteenth holiday, so I have the day off. So I'm gonna take you guys around. Just a very chill day in the city, run some errands, take you guys through kind of my routine and share some of my thoughts with you guys. But first, let's go to the gym and get a killer like day in. sweet time it is now like already 11 o'clock usually by this time on Monday mornings I should have been working for two hours already and I'm probably thinking about lunch but today instead I went to get an acai bowl from playables hands down the best acai place I've ever had in Boston um, I got the pure Vita bowl guys look at it yesterday was kind of cold but today it's finally nice out so I'm in the mood for a little acai bowl. I was here last summer with my sister, if anyone remembers. Let's see if it's as good as I remember. Playables. You guys put like crack in your food or something. I haven't talked to you guys in a while, so I wanted to sit down and just tell you a bit about how my life is going. Two and a half weeks ago, I came here to Boston to do my internship. Long story short, I thought I had a remote internship that could be done outside the US, but they told me that because I'm being paid, I have to be within the US, so I had to quickly find a place. I like stalked Facebook pages for three days straight trying to find a place in the US to live. I was choosing between New York and Boston essentially because they were the two places that I were more familiar with and also more accessible since I don't have a car and I also can't drive. So um, I found a cheaper place in a good location in Boston, so I stuck with it. It's been an experience so far. Flew here, moved in alone. It's pretty different from college because you're not surrounded by people your age who are also looking for friends. It's kind of just on my own, especially with remote work. Um, just sitting by the computer the whole day. I think I was definitely blessed with good roommates who I can hang out with and have a good time with, but I've definitely been learning how to embrace time alone and enjoy my time alone at different places to try new things or, or even just walking around the city. These few weeks have also taught me a lot about um, reaching out to people and taking risks, leaning into uncomfortable situations where maybe I'm reaching out to people I haven't talked to in a while or I'm saying hi to like a stranger at church or in a gathering and having to like incite conversation. I think that's been a huge learning lesson for me. Definitely makes post-grad life kind of daunting because um, life is, because real life is very different from college. And I'm gonna eat this and then shower and then I'll take you guys to run some errands. I have a meeting in 10 minutes, so I just whipped up a quick meal. Just had that acai bowl, so not too hungry, but definitely know I'm gonna be hungry later. White scramble with some veggies. It looks amazing, still steaming. I've become so, so good at making these like simple five ingredient, but still pretty tasty meals. I think that living alone definitely forces you to have to learn that really quickly, so. Mm. Hey guys, so it's currently 3.15 p.m. Just got off a call for a new internship I'm starting. Um, it's just a little project for the startup that I'm really excited about. But right now I'm headed to Trader Joe's to get some groceries. So I've started to buy groceries for myself. I've looked around for the cheapest store that also has good food and hands down the best one is Trader Joe's. First of all, everything is extremely cheap. 
um, especially compared to Whole Foods, which is down the road. Um, and the food is also just so good. They have a very interesting variety of snacks and just things to pick out. So, so yeah, let's head to Trader Joe's and get some food. Guy, me conflicted with what you said. I tend to second guess myself like too much. Cause I think that I've been falling ever since that day out in the late 10 p.m. and I finally am back in my room to had the best meal ever. We got some vegan ramen from this place called Red White Ramen um, on Newbury Street. It was so surprisingly so, so good. Met up with a high school friend that I haven't seen in three years. She was on my cross country team. So it was so great to be able to catch up and just see each other again. I'm eating this chocolate cookie dough bar. Bear Bell's protein bar because I need some extra protein for today and I was craving something chocolatey. I'm just reminded daily of how small the world is. I feel like I've bumped into so many people that I haven't seen in a long time or just bumped into people that have connections with people from back home. So it's just such a cool experience to be in a city like this where you can see people like that. This, I have a call scheduled at 9 p.m. So gonna just chill for the rest of the day. Very mellow and chill day so far. Um, but yeah, it was much needed rest um, and a little bit of what I've been doing in Boston. So oh